looks like a dude. Hello, can I get a uh, a uh, Berea Ranchero? And then can I just get a steak taco? That's it. Is that the mile? I'll take mile, please. No, thank you. All right, great, thank you. A little warm outside, 90 degrees out, chat. It's like 10 bucks for that. I don't know if it's gonna fill me up, but we'll see. The only thing I hate about this place is the music's way too loud. So maybe we'll set up a table. Dude, I'm gonna suddenly set up a table where it's not so loud, like over there, because this music is way annoying and it's too loud. I could see if I was drunk and it was midnight or something, yeah, I would, I would, you know, yeah, I wanna get uh, dancing shit. <laughs> you see, they called my name because I can't hear, hear anything with the music. I think there might be a little parking a lot over there. It's way too loud to do a food review. Uh, even though it's, it's even loud over here. Yeah, that's me. Thank you. All right, man. Have a good one. Enjoy your food. Yeah, it's just way too loud. Let's see if we can find a little quaint. If not, I can just bring this home and do the review there. How you doing, Chief? I'm just gonna squeeze in, my friend. Nice day out, though, huh? It's warming up. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's before it gets too. Down, we have different colors on our skin. <laughs> my friend. Once you wake up in the morning, different color. In the evening, different color. There you go. Yeah. Man, you know, melatonin for me <laughs> helps. <laughs> All right, my friend. Have a good one. Sure. Big ups, chat. <laughs> He's a hardworking guy over here. But the summertime is going to get really excruciating. That's the, I love the, this time of the year, but yeah, the summer is too much. All right, my friend, have a good day. Get to it. I'm going back to my old style, talking to everybody for content. You notice my old style chat? I'm going back to my old style, where I talk to everybody. I talk to everybody for the content chat. You know, that's how I look at it. Everybody is a possible content mechanism. Oh, shit. Uh, thank you, thank you. All right, chat. Um, not sure where we're going to go. I mean, we can eat it down here. Hold up. Oh, yeah, here's a nice little queen area. There we go. I found a spot, chat. Oh, right back there, actually. The shit, there's a shade right over there. Ah. Hopefully it's not too dark. Show you what I got. Let's go with the taco first. So I got a steak taco, carne asada. My, it's plain. You would think there'd be cilantro. Dude, it's a plain ass taco. Oh, here's a little packet here. They give it, I guess you have to, dude, this is not adding up, chap. Look. It's just a plain ass steak taco with no fucking cilantro. I'm adding it myself right now. I'm adding some onions, cilantro. Right now, um, not too impressed with the taco. I think it's the first time I had their tacos here. Green sauce on there. Steak taco con asada. Don't they know I'm doing the fucking review?
three dollars and twenty five cents that I never had a taco that was just steak no fucking cilantro no chopped onions I never had a taco like that and uh, I, I went here I went to this place when they first opened and it was really good but I never had their tacos now what I did is they gave you a little package of onions and cilantro but I like my onions cooked a little bit these are raw onions raw cilantro I added that to my tacos and it added a little pizzazz to it but I'm just gonna be really brutally honest on a scale of one to ten on these tacos they were like a four because the tacos should be comprised of everything together the uh, sauteed onions and the cilantro now what I got now is their uh, what did I get I got the Berea Ranchera. Let's have a look. I think I had their Ranchera before. I think I got carnitas once and then a steak. So this is the first time me having a Berea. I think this was like six bucks for this. <sighs> Pinto beans, burrilla, queso, I mean. Yeah, I'm enjoying this though. Do you mean napkins? Oh yeah, do you mean napkins? That is enjoyable. Now that is another ball game right there. And I love their, the, the, this is my first time having their Berea. I had their Ranchero before, like a steak Ranchero or Carnitas uh, Ranchero. But uh, this one is out of the world, and here comes a pigeon. The pigeon knows I'm kind. Here, have that. Oh my god, that's delicious, Jack. Ah. And it looks like it's deep fried. The the tortilla is like deep fried. I'm not sure if this is, tastes more like a corn tortilla. Yeah, me and my fucking high blood pressure eating fucking deep fried food, huh? <laughs> this will be my cheat day. I don't even want to dip it in green. Well, let's have a little green sauce, huh? That is good. Even better with a little bit of green sauce. Now I got all the pigeons. Word on the street, I'm giving away food. All right, let's get back to the review. All right, chat. On a scale of one to 10, on the Berea, the Ranchero, Berea. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give that a solid fucking 8.5. Yes, indeed. That's how good it was. They loaded up that fucking Ranchero Berea, and I'm highly happy with the Ranchero Berea. It had guacamole on it, 
pinto beans and barilla meat. Shredded beef. They only gave me one napkin, chap. So uh, next time give out more than two napkins, I guess, especially with a fucking ranchero. But looks like they've been through the ringer. I wish I had more food to give you, plus you're gonna shit all over the cars and vehicles here, so. Some people don't like to feed the pigeons. They say, don't feed the pigeons because they shit everywhere. All right, I'm all done. No more food, no more food. Hey, hey, one more, go, go, go. <laughs>